<laughs> Let's show sure. it. Let's go. Let's go. Rude as hell. <laughs> Welcome to day something. I forgot. It's uh, we have to put more weight on the flywheel. Here's the second wheel. We're now going to combine the force. So now we're putting together all the power of the universe. There. Oh. Oh, done. Flywheel is now twice the size, almost 90 kilos. I'm gonna lower it with a forklift. Oh my god, so smooth. Yeah, it's on. This wheel is a beast. It feels actually a little bit more stable. It's like the discs are helping each other out. So now this wheel is uh, six centimeters wide and it weighs 86 kilos. How does it feel to crank it, Hannes? Love it. I can feel the power. I'm also going to take use of Hannes from the Trainer's YouTube channel that you all should subscribe to. Link in description. Hannes has been there for me from the beginning with all the marble machines and he's making awesome inspirational training content. Not the douchey kind of stuff, the real <laughs> awesome kind of stuff that makes you feel awesome. So go subscribe to Trainers. We're going to play the tests longer. This is the whole idea for me being in Germany at all. So if you really want to understand the system, try to listen for the sound from the contact mic and uh, for the sound from the kick drum and see how they converge and see how tight I can play. It's going to take longer to accelerate with this flywheel. Okay, so we're up to tempo, now I have to sync it. Here we go. I start to find it here. There we go. Now we're synced. I'm behind. Give it some more power. Slowly catching up. And here we go. The wave is slower now. The machine is tighter with this flywheel, I think. Okay. Interesting. More moment of inertia, tighter music. That's my thesis. Here's the results, 80 BPM with the pedal and the similarness plot here is just amazing from Jan and Tom. It gives me a lot of faith in how the transients have been detected. So these are all the 100 best transients and how they have been detected. We are looking at the peak performance of the 100 best consecutive peaks. So behind the two black dotted lines is the area. And that area in this test had 5.95 millisecond standard deviation. 100 BPM. I have to wait for it to cycle up. Here we come. There we go. I'm too fast.
impressive section here. Ah, not impressive, but better. <laughs> 400 BPM, here's the results. You can see the BPM wave curve and we had 3.14 millisecond standard deviation. Hannes helps me power up the machine to save some of my fatigue because we're going to go fast, 120 BPM. This is so much better, Hannes. It feels just as I expected it to feel. Like, I don't have to think of the tempo, I just have to find the exertion level, stay on the same exertion level, and the music is tight. Tight-ish. Da 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 an amazing result for playing music with a pedal. And just a note here, if you think the green BPM curve looks very wavy, the scale is zoomed in. So at the bottom of the curve, we have only 170 BPM and at the top 122. So the tighter I am, the more zoomed in the graph is. The prototype was not meant to be cranked. So the crank is a little bit too low for it to be ergonomical. So here we are lifting up the machine and putting a torque case underneath it to get the crank in a more playable position. Well done. Long time viewers remembers my plywood saw that I made. Uh, all my stuff from France is here. So I have so much memories lying around everywhere. And I'm going to use this saw to make this a little bit safer. Yesterday I got hurt uh, a little bit here from this sticking out. And I realized I don't need all these offset adjustments. Crank 80 BPM. Sink. This is good. This is really good. I'm ahead. Letting off a little. Sinking up, there. Okay, very interesting to see the results from the first crank test. The wave looks pretty sweet and we have 5.5 milliseconds standard deviation. I made multiple holes here to experiment with the offset from the center. And I think I'm a little bit big now, so I'm going to experiment with making it smaller. Less leverage, but more ergonomical. Let's look at if having a smaller offset made any difference. So we're still at the same tempo, 80 BPM. But yeah, on our best performing section, we did 2.45 milliseconds standard deviation. So twice as tight as the longer offset. Test two with the crank, 100 BPM. Getting closer.
have to get used to the exertion level. Look at this tight crank, 100 BPM with a standard deviation of 1.28 milliseconds. Really, really, really good performance here. I'm falling behind. Catching up. There we go. And our final result, the 120 BPM with the crank has a standard deviation of only 1.38 milliseconds. It's way too early to make any conclusions from this data. I will analyze this data much more thoroughly back in Sweden, but I can tell you something. It felt to me like the heavier flywheel made tighter music, which means I think that if we keep on going up and make an even more moment of inertia, we have even tighter music. Next step here in Germany is to change the pulley down here and make the flywheel even faster and see how that affects the musical timing. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.